Hello and welcome, I'm Tino and today we are going to be playing as Greece. We are going to form the Byzantine Empire, we already did the Ottoman Empire, so the cores are kind of the same, but the Byzantine Empire includes Italy, so it's kind of super powerful and as final objectives we should conquer Berlin and Moscow, maybe London too, but let's start. So to start we will just one civilian factories, standard industrial technology, rifles 36 we don't start and in decisions you should imprison the king and we devaluate the dragma as decision of focus tree. And shift click on ground, infantry, navy, air to train all the troops. Second focus bring home the Xai republics in the top left that will start the Byzantine Empire path and improve worker conditions right away. Now take the left side of the focus, this way you will go fascist, if you go this way you will go communist. And now this focus, remember the Anatolian, and hide the political power plus 10 and factory output plus 5, very nice. We got the rifles and now go for the medium tanks, early prototype. And keep with distributed industry your choice. And now it's time to go to the industrial revolution. And let's go to partial mobilization. And we are going to get the army minister, the only one that we have right now available. Keep going down the industrial focus tree, paying down paying the, the debts. And you will get several of these decisions and pick always the one that benefits benefit the fascist. Now we are getting trucks and trains. Now we can keep going down the tree, the industrial tree, until we pay the debt. So we go back to the political tree and keep going straight right this lane. We are not going to do this one and this one, just the one in the middle, straight down. And now we would like to go to open up the country, but and now we would like to go to fiscal responsibility, but we will need to pay the debts first. So we are going back to the political tree and we are going to keep going down the straight line, the line, the one in the middle, this one. From now on, military factories everywhere. And we start doing large repayments, we keep an eye, and once they finish, we fire again until we repay all the debts. And keep picking all the fascist decision. Now we go for the Athenian thinkers. We go back to the industrial line and we pick industrial fiscal responsibility, since we have already paid part of the debt. Now we pick interwar artillery. Electronic mechanical engine. Now this is the key focus that we should reach as soon as possible. I'm going to read this for you. Political power plus 200. We will receive off map civilian factories for every country in the Western Balkans, the Eastern Balkans and the Northern Balkans that has a high friendly opinion of us. This applies also to Austria, Czechoslovakia and Turkey. Okay, this is very important. We must improve relations with all these countries, Turkey, and I do this early because Czechoslovakia and Austria are now going to be annexed soon, so you go one by one, by one and choose improve relations. And also don't forget Albania is a puppet of Italy, but you should do with them also. They are going to be your one factory. In total, you are going to be receiving 12 of map civilian factories. If you declare war on them later, doesn't matter. You still keep those 12 factories. And check here if you get the 12 of, of map factories. If you don't, repeat because you miss some country. We go back to the political tree and we get Anatolian refugees. Put all the new factories that you are getting, military factories, in infantry equipment. And we pick the guy that gives us military construction bonus, factories, military factories. Do not buy resources until they reach 8. Always keep going industrial. We keep taking the fastest decision. 
Now another down in the political path, resurrecting. And it seems that Greece has claimed over Turkey, but the nations are not willing to help. And you can call this convention, but no one is going to help. Maybe you improve relations, not sure about that. But if you call France, you are going to get a penalty hit in stability. So we go for the second option in this case, that is call just the standard members. Now, after the focus, if you pick here or around fear, you will start a war with Turkey, but you are not ready yet and your stability is quite low. Well, it will go 30 points down. So I will recommend you build up your economy a little bit before going to the war. And therefore, we are going to change. The, we are going back to the industrial tree. Here it is. And we are going to take the left side this one that is going to help especially this one below to, with our resources so we take this technology and here it is this is the option to start a civil war or accept the fascist and we are going to accept the fascist we click here and the government change now we are fascist and thus this allows us to make some changes the first change is that we are going to get this option, the obsequent politicals and military and we are also going to get the obsequent staff members this will, this one will give us more political power and this one will, will give us great stability as long as we keep improving the power of the facet, more stability we are going to be getting also we have now this new guy available minus 5 consumer goods, this is great and we are going for extended conscription and we go anti everything race, democrat, communist, whatever appears here you go anti why? because that will give you an initial decrease in stability but then you will increase and since we have this guy here it will increase far more so with this decision is quite good for raising your stability also, we have another decision here to crush the communists. This one will give us also war support. You should take it when it's enabled. Extracting more resources. Now, after the focus, if you pick here or around fear, you will start a war with Turkey. But you are not ready yet and your stability is quite low. Well, it will go... 30 points down so i will recommend you build up your economy a little bit before going to the war and therefore we are going to change the, we are going back to the industrial tree here it is and we are going to take the left side this one that is going to help especially this one below to, with our resources so we take this technology support weapons one radio one factory at support equipment one at trains five infantry equipment we keep on the industrial grid author key and we are going to rush the medium howitzer because it's cheap it only needs 150 days and we are in middle 38 we pick the Air Force Minister to start gaining levels. Now I go left because in this side we get four civilian factories in, instead of three military factories. I think that four civilians is better. Improve worker conditions again and keep doing the anti raids. And now since we are going to be going to work early, it's not point on ongoing tourism, so we take the right side. And in industrial we have three options. We hope for rejuvenate Athens. We go for 38 equipment. And of course we start building infantry, mechanical computing. And we design a tank for the infantry, it's very slow but has good armor and also four points of armor all that I can give but it's going to be enough for the infantry Wally 1 and now crack down on foreign monopolies and we go for the tech team for tanks that give us reliability and soft attack 
And finally down here we're going to get the 4th Tech Team. And we got the 39 Artillery I'm putting up to date with heavy machine guns. And now we have our first offensive tank, it's a big cannon. It's the 39 Howitzer, 3 men turret, 2 heavy machine guns improve ammo for reliability and the radio that we have available we have improved transmission for speed and diesel engine for reliability and we have four armors two engines and that gives us 44 kilometers per hour it will go with the mountaineers more reliability than we need and a lot of soft attack we are going to produce this tank buffalo one and we convert all the army to standard infantry except two divisions of mountaineers that we are going to be transforming to our elite tank units for the mountains. So we duplicate the mountaineers template, duplicate, we change the icon for the tank and we are going to put our medium tanks here. Mm, medium tank are going, going to add two for now or maybe three and that's all for now. We are going to save and we are going to modify now our two divisions to that template right now and we are going to start training them because they are going to lose experience as they get the tanks 39 rifles as soon as possible now we have to take a decision this is how our industry looks like we are building the tanks we need a lot more infantry artillery you can see all the stats also we, we are building more military factories but we are training some units we are our army is small right now so we can just start declaring the war against Turkey it will take about seven days or we can keep improving our army our industry is perfectly fine we only have room for improving the army here this decision and we are going to do that so we are a little bit more prepared for war sorry this one or we can justify and decided to justify declare war and this one in about 70 days so we have little time to build more tanks and now I'm using a, a trick despite I do not have the tanks I created the template and added more tanks so I have all the manpower but I lack the tanks but my, te my template is looking final I added a lot of tanks and I'm going to reach about combat width 45 42 sorry so I have the template ready with all the at least the troops trained at level 3 and later I will get the tanks and we are connecting all our ports by railroad since the enemy will rule the seas and we run out of room for factories so we are going to improve our resources recovery by building infrastructure and forgot extended conscription hurry up with this I did it late and now the war started so keep doing this four you're going only to be able to do this two first and pick the doctrines you like I'm going to go with this one not sure why so how to win this work? Turkey will do some invasions. As long as you control the ports, you are fine. I should station one unit here as soon as possible. So I control all the ports and as soon as they disembark, they will try to attack, but they won't be able to. So you counter attack and keep destroying. Also in Macedonia, you station your armors and I hit this province down there and you will trap this unit down and then move here and destroy this other two and you keep rinse and repeat until then you kill many units and then just we are going to start advancing and uh, as i advance i am slowly building a red wheel behind the, the tanks to reach the supply depot and connect now i'm doing a bigger pocket so we got the supply depot there and we are connecting piece by piece with the, our network we did pockets and small pockets and we capture Istanbul both sides so now we are advancing in Turkey is kind of full of mountains and hills so our actual template is perfect for that situation 
let me show you we have lots of tanks and mountaineers the idea here is to make small pockets as you can see there are a few units left in the Turkish army so we keep encircled and then we can do a mass advance and this is our mountaineers in action without planning bonus they hit at 200 so it's enough for the mountains and they have armor bonus and now we just advance enveloping never, never attacking with infantry we only use our tanks but since they cannot cover the whole front line we keep enveloping and advancing and now we start advancing with medium bombers we pick the heavy fighter team and now we are close to form Constantinople, sorry and finally we capture Turkey and once you capture and once you capture Turkey you will be able to fire the decision formed by Byzantium Byzantine Empire and now we have the Byzantine Empire we are going to get a lot of cores very soon. Let me see the factory 61 population, and now we jump 600,000 K 61 factories, and maybe soon we are going to get more factories. Not sure. And the Byzantine Empire is great because if you take a look at the production, we have zero consumer goods, so all our production goes to building more factories or our civilian production goes to build more civilian in and we are not even fully mobilized in war laws as you can see our laws we are at peace and we have this law still we can enable this one but we can spam civilian factories like china china also has the the good advantage the extreme advantage that they do not need consumer goods so it's kind of overpower and it's, we have also some nice bonuses, like more factory production. But we are doing okay, 100% stability, 100% war support. And now we are going to have problems with the Shermans and the Italians, so we need to prepare for that. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.